Not only has there been a plethora of games designed by militaries post 9-11, but the private sector is creating its own games as well. They actually give a pretty comforting view of terrorism because in these kind of Tom Clancy games and stuff, there's a clear enemy, there's a clear goal in taking him out, and when you take him out, that will stop uh, a certain event from happening. The countries that are the most critical of America's foreign policy are creating the, he the American soldier hero, and it's American companies that are creating the revisionist American soldier who, you know, we're not really sure if he's a hero or an anti-hero, a good guy or a bad guy, or what he's even fighting for. I used to hunt terrorists. Now I am one. Companies like Kuma Games, an ad-sponsored internet site, actually capitalize on real-world conflicts as they happen. As something happens in the war in Iraq or in the war in Afghanistan, immediately the coders start working on replicating that event or that battle, and then within a month, you can be playing it on your screen. The company even simulates conflicts that have yet to happen, as with their controversial series, Assault on Iran. President Bush came on the air and he said, all options are on the table, you know, with regards to Iran. And then the Iranian president uh, came on and he said, the United States cannot, you know, invade us, that we're not another Iraq. Kuma capitalized on the controversy by creating a scenario in which a U.S. strike team was sent into Iran to take out a nuclear target. In response, a group calling itself the Union of Islamic Student Societies designed a title of their own, in which gamers can play from the opposite perspective. The comments that we've gotten from Iranians have been all across the board. They're at a crossroads, you know, as a nation. Um, and so we become, to a certain extent, a lightning rod. People can, in fact, come to us and talk about it, but that they're not really talking about the game. That's a really interesting interactive experience to have, assuming that those experiences are designed and developed from a place of accuracy and a place of, of genuinely trying to uh, promote knowledge and learning versus just sort of being, you know, exploitive.